Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm pleased to say that the animation has improved a lot since the last version. Um, what you could also do is uh, before the character goes up here, have them kind of anticipate that by curling down a little bit first. So go down and then up and maybe slow down how quickly uh, he moves up as well. Uh, the um, the textures and lighting need a lot of work. I kind of discussed this before. Everything's really stretched out here. You've got all this kind of crazy stuff going here. So that needs to be properly UV mapped and textured as well as this. It's, you know, it, it's pretty noticeable. And um, yeah, the lighting isn't, doesn't really give me a sense of where the lights are and where they're coming from. Um, in Maya, um, Here's the lit mode, and then here it is with shadows on, which doesn't look so great. So I'm just going to hide these, turn them on one at a time. So one thing you can might want to do with these is have quadratic decay on those. And let's just show those lights. Yeah, they're right there. So, and then you don't see, you see they're not doing much and then increase the intensity like a lot. Um, so then they light the area just near them. This one too. Maybe that's too high. Um, and maybe you want to give them a little bit of a kind of a yellowy orange color a little bit you know I'm wondering if the quadratic decay isn't enough you could go all the way to cubic just to keep it really close to the uh, so now it looks like they're just lighting the area around them um, let's turn this one on That doesn't see, well, the intensity of that one's zero, so that's clearly not doing much. And let's see what this spotlight is doing. Oh, that wasn't doing much, either, which is surprising considering how bright it is. Is it just taking a minute to update, or is it really not? Huh. I don't know why it's requiring so much. Um, oh, it does have a cubic decay rate on it. So, oh, that looks kind of cool, though. Anyway, you know, get in there and play with the lights. I think you can make it better. And something like this actually looks a lot more creepy. And it's hiding some of your bad textures. <laughs> so you might want to take advantage of that. Um, but I do think you should try to fix your textures, too.